Are you filming? No, I'm okay, not filming right now. Is he filming? <laughs> We want somebody who hasn't killed their taste buds yet. <laughs> no, no smokers? No s no mm. smoke. Well, you know a lot of chefs are smokers. Biased we want smokers. passionate people who love cheese and can appreciate, um, you know, handcrafted, um, true milk flavors that have a good palate. They've got to be organized because this is serious. Oh. It's very serious. We take this seriously. Yes. They need to write down notes with every tasting, and we're planning on sending. Um, be sober when they're doing it. <laughs> um, two to three shipments were, are going to be coming their way, and we need them to be able to look back on their notes from the previous tasting mm -hmm. and um, recall the differences, the nuances, and the flavors, the age, the texture. Well, we'll give them all the t uh, the format of what they're looking for, everything from texture to appearance to flavor profiles. This is where the foodie thing comes in. It's just like, okay, what can I do with this? Yeah. You know, and, and what would what would pair well with it? And if they know mm -hmm. wine, that's even even better. So all or the beer or spirits. Or beer or spirits. Yeah, scotch. Scotch. <laughs> um, so they need to obviously love blue. I think that was the biggest one. Because this is, do they know? It's a blue cheese. Yes, it's a blue cheese. It's a blue cheese. It's the blue cheese without a name. Um, but there might be extra little Fun gifts, fun little um, projects that will be thrown in each shipment, you know. Cheese making is religious. It's very spiritual. Praise the Jesus. <laughs>